What's good? What's poppin'? More going. It's your boy Link. So welcome back. Today we checking out something a little different, um, and it's this. Which is my custom denim jacket. This is a pet project of mine. It's an ongoing project. So today I'm gonna show you what I've done with it so far, and um, a couple plans on what I got coming up in the future for it. Yeah, there's a lot of details in here, so let's just get straight to it. Alright, so let's get into it. The jacket is broken up into about, what, four to five different sections. And I'm gonna go through them with you now. So let's start with this right left arm. So as you see here, we got a blue bandana inside the distressing and a red bandana here. I might do a little bit more to this um, in the future, but so far, you know, that's that. You know, like I said, this arm, I have some more ideas for this arm, so you can call that one section, but it's not going to be as crazy as the other arm. So let's move on to the other side. So this side, um, this is probably like the part that stands out the most, or is the second part that stands out the most. But I mean, I guess everyone will look at it differently. But this is safety pins along with studs. The studs are, you know, a lot more prevalent at the bottom here and they thin out as they go to the top. And then we have the safety pins in somewhat of a design. You know, they're not all random. So there's, there's like a design that I followed all the way down. And, um, that goes from the arm all the way to the back. So this is the back of the jacket on the shoulder. And um, the pattern's there as well. And we've got studs as well. And then we did this little thing down the middle, kind of like a spine almost. Um, like I said, it's, it's a pet project. Nothing is set in stone, um, but yeah, I was, messing around with that i thought it was interesting will it stay i don't know but for now it's gonna be there and um underneath the collar you know i started this here um i plan to run it all the way around the collar or i might just run it you know partial you know half like quarter way on both sides You'll see as it goes along. All right, so now we're gonna move on to, so that's the second part. Um, the third part would be the patches. So this side is gonna be all patches. I have some more patches I wanna put further down at the bottom, but um, I haven't decided on what yet. So right now we have my Metallica patch, Betty Boop. We got my Michael Jackson Thriller, Bart Skateboarding, we got Transformers, the Autobots logo here, my Brooklyn patch, that's where I represent. And so these are gonna be like permanent glue and sewed in patches. And then up here where I have this big hole that was like a distressed hole almost. It's almost like a big space there. I decided to go with these fabric patches. Now, this is a Medusa head currently. Um, I decided so right now to just um, pin it down so I can, so it can look almost unfinished, you know, kind of rough. Um, I have some other ones that maybe periodically I might switch out, switch, you know, alternate. So one, two, three. So here we go to the fourth part. Now, before I get to the fourth part, 
The fifth part is gonna be the back. There's nothing on the back right now. It's like b below the pins, but that area I plan on doing some painting. Um, a friend of mine, I might have him do a paint job for me or I might do something, but there's definitely some kind of painting gonna be going on in the back here. Might be mixed media, not sure yet. We'll get to that when I get to that. And this part here is the fourth part, section. And these are all enamel pins. So we could kind of quickly go over some of the pins here. Some pins are gonna stay for the long haul and some will be switched out very soon and over time. So we can start with the top here. This is a Nike pin I got for, but both of these are Nike pins. Um, I can't remember which one, but I got one for doing a mile run and the other for purchasing something at the Nike store in Soho. This is the Wu-Tang logo, Fatigue. Got this at a Pin and Patch Expo. My Hell Admit one. I actually ordered this from Amazon. Thought this was cool. Um, this is just a free pin I picked up at the Expo. Like I said, like this, this is gonna get replaced. This is my Snoopy pin. Snoopy got fresh right here. Little, what's that, like a purple, magenta pink hoodie, teal sneakers, little gray hat, some shades. It's dope. Um, fuck you, you fuckity fuck. <laughs> um, word bubble. I got this in, um, in Oakland. So I picked this one up right after I had an incident in Oakland where I got my luggage stolen and my first rendition of this jacket. This is the second time I'm doing this jacket and I picked this one up. It just felt right at the moment. I was cursing. Um, this is my Marge. Sexy Marge. Stress, stressed out Marge. Both. Picked that one up at an expo. I ordered this um, online. This comes in a two-pack. I'll show you in a second. So this is Daft Punk, basically. You know, the two, two brothers. This is the gold guy, the gold brother. And this one's really cool because it's a lot of details. You can see a skull. They did some like cool effect where you can see a skull underneath the helmet. This is the second half to the Daft Punk collection. Silver one. So you got the, I got the gold one here. This is the silver one. I decided to save this for a future project. Might do a black denim or a, or a leather black leather jacket. And I wanted to save this one for that. This one is from um, Rose Mansion. Um, this is a pin from the expo that I got some of these pins. This is a pin from Warby Parker. A friend of mine brought this one back for me from Paris. Um, this is my Velma, my kinky Velma. She's all tied up. Um, I'm assuming that this was something that she wanted to get done. <laughs> this is the Ghostbusters vehicle, the Ecto-1. It's glows in the dark. This is from an artist out in California. So this one and this one are both from the same artist. He has some cool pins and artwork and t-shirts. Yeah, this one and this one are from the same company. Like I said, I'll put that in the description. This is um, Roger Rabbit's girlfriend um, being a nurse. This was from the Ice Cream Factory. I won this Geeky and Kinky. So this came um, free with these two pins. Um, I got this one at the Expo as well. This is the Red Stormtrooper, a little glitter in there, which was cool. I got this one for, for free. So when I got the Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I went to GameStop and I asked them if they had any pins. Um, they only had this button here, so they gave me that. Um, this 
Pin Hairs from Black Ops. Um, I can't remember which Black Ops. It was Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2. Um, it came with a steel box. That's what I got so far. I have some more pins that I'm actually going to put on this jacket. And we're going to talk about them now. And those pins are going to replace some of these pins today. So I'm going to show you those now. We're going to talk some more about it. So let's get to that. All right. So this artist from Australia reached out to me. Zay Cats. Zay Cats Designs. I'm probably butchering the name. And uh, after seeing me post a couple photos and videos of my jacket, and he asked me if I would like to promote his pins. So he sent me out his collection. So he's basically a graphic designer and a, and a pin designer. And he works with other pin designers and they collaborate. So there's seven artists that worked on these pins. Um, I'm not sure which artist did what. You can check out his um, Instagram, um, Zakats underscore designs. I'll put the, the name below. The link will be in the description. And um, he sent me out this, this collection of pins. This is really cool. So let's take a closer look and see what we got here. Okay, so this is Ray. Ray glows in the dark. Our lightsaber lights up and glows. And um, Ray has two pins. Okay, so this is Luke, aka Ghost Luke. This is a transparent enamel pin. So this is Chewbacca, aka Chewy. This is a glow in the dark pin. Alright, so this is Kylo Ren. It's also a glow in the dark pin. This is one of my favorites out of the bunch. Alright, so here we have BB 8. BB 8 is cool because this is a spinning pin. Snark, aka Supreme Leader. This is also a glow in the dark pin. Okay, so this is a Stormtrooper, aka FN 2187, aka Finn. This is also a glow in the dark pin. And last but not least, Darth Vader. Crushed helmet. This is a glitter enamel pin. There's glitter on the sides and down the middle. He also sent these over to me. Um, Spider-Man Homecoming, Raphael. The Ninja Turtles. Raphael is my favorite of the Ninja Turtles. He also has the other three Ninja Turtles. Um, these both these pins glow in the dark. These are cool. All right, so here we go. We made a few changes, and this is what we got. We got Raph up here. We um, we took this um, I Love America out. Um, we added Darth Vader there. We moved the uh, Rose Mansion up top. We took, we put Spider-Man here. We moved the cat, Fink's cat, from here to there. We added um, Finn Stormtrooper here. Um, and we moved some stuff around. 
so that's what we got so far after I put this on a few times might change some stuff up again remove the patch and pin expo pin and I moved the call of duty button I'll find somewhere to put these and um, this one here which also one of my favorite I'm gonna reserve and save this one for another jacket probably the same black or leather jacket that I'm gonna put this one on all right so that's it all right so this is part one of my denim jacket project let me know what you thought about the video let me know what you think about the jacket what's your favorite pin what's your favorite patch What's the favorite part of the jacket? Which one do you like best? Leave a comment down below. Don't forget, subscribe and share with a friend. Until next time, peace.